Are you navigating now? Are you like I'm controlling it. From I'm here. controlling it. But uh, are you giving it uh, like uh, some 3D 3D coordinate where it needs to go or? No, no. I'm just uh, I'm just uh, tilting tilting the device and, and, and that's how I'm. It's it's not it's not there's no autopilot. I'm giving it manual commands. And that, that's the camera view it's got. That's the camera view. Yes, in front of the camera. And if I change it here, it's now it's the the down looking camera. But then here is the the positioning part, so you can see the the real time location of the helicopter. And there's oh, a virtual yeah. target. And now I'm supposed to hit the target. And if I manage to do that, then the target will will vanish. So how is this so accurately mapping where the drone is in the room? Uh, this is our position technology built on top of Bluetooth. So that's 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 the technology we developed in Nokia Research Center. Is that like Bluetooth LE or? It's, it's Bluetooth LE enhanced with uh, with a twist to get the directions and, and there, thereby the, the position. And the uh, hotspots are over there. And there right? Yes. This white one. Yes. yes. The, these are the these are the sensors, the, the white round disc. Okay, so it's to operate within within those sensors. Currently, it is operating within those, yes, of course, but, but we could put them further away from each other, so the maximum distance is 150 meters. We're actually trying that outdoors by, by flying a, a plane, a remote control plane, and, and we, can, we can track the plane up to 150 meters distance with the same technology.